decent positioning. Wait a minute, you're supposed to be over here. <laughs> Wait a minute, you you rascal. And then Venge is up in the top now. Whoa. That's on me. It's so confusing. So, Venge, Winter Wyvern, that is a lot of damage at level one. Arctic Burn, Stun, like, anyone yeah. dies who goes to the offline. I mean, we're, we're it's going to be pretty rough, too. Add in with a Earth Spirit into that as well. Just rolling around, you never know. Is he going to be middle? Is he going to be top? No one knows. I mean, if this was a pub game, I'd go for the techies just to try to get this lane to stay a little bit longer. I think they need some defense on Team Radiant because these guys are going to be running at them at all times with this early game drive. Is that a Shadow Fiend ban? Yeah, it is. My goodness. Makes a lot of sense. Shadow Fiend Army Knight's great. And then uh, put in that early And the auras. The then aura you'd have that aura gaming. Would you ever willfully pick an enigma into a Vengeful Spirit? No. Into a winner wyvern or spirit, <laughs> that's absolutely not. Nah. If they did it, I mean, Five we've seen this team do crazy things, but that would be the crazy. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Right, it's a, van that, a Sven that Spend. gets banned out, which kind of means the Virtus Pro is expecting that Faces Void to be on the offlane. Yeah, they think that. That's why, you know, looks like you might be in the, the right here. Ten seconds. But we're still we going either way, keeping it open. That's always Just, like. Nice. Unless it maybe it's a safe lane Five void and then an aggro lane with AA. I mean, AA is one of the best tri lane supports, right? Sure. Yeah, especially with the chain. And clockwork. We saw them in the safe lane pretty much just safe lane if they off lane. But then you, you aggro into Avenge. Ooh. Just feel like VP's, like this 4v4 right now, it just feels like VP is so far ahead already. Yeah, I mean, yeah. If they go on any of these guys and they get they a jump on any of these heroes, they're yeah. done. Maybe clockwork can survive for... But the, Five more seconds. You do have a uh, void, uh, void AA when both hit six. It's like an instant kill, which is always nice. That is it's right. just a support plus a void. Is it an insta kill though? If you don't get Omni in the bubble, that's I mean, a heal repel. Well, I mean, at level yeah. six, you're not going to be five manning. That's what I mean. The very first one. Sure. The you first. Know. So they guaranteed themselves one kill. One kill, kill is guaranteed this game. Woo! Uh, that is one kill if Pasha is not. Already Playing out of positioned mind. properly. That's a mid oh. silence. The no one silence. And term. so I love ends that. the double bubble. Yeah. Okay, what case. about Enigma now versus Guys, I think or? Enigma's still Let's the play. Let's not do that. I think Enigma's the play. <laughs> Get Enigma out. They're going to go for it. They're not. Last <laughs> counter to Silencer, Enigma. He loves Silencer. I mean, Silencer. if you get a five-man black hole, what are they going to do? What are they going to do? <laughs> Silencer is a front-range fighter. He I wants think they, to be they have to go with it here. They have to. Their, their hand has been forced. They have 10 seconds. No other plan. What uh, do they go? I'm trying to think. Please, God. Oh, an Arc hey, War. Hey. That's so a it tricky. is going to be the offline. Wait. Tomato Arc War. Yeah, we'll just chalk this one up to a dank game. Arc War. <laughs> Arc Warden. All right. Well, all right. Uh, you know, what? gotta say, boom. They don't have that <laughs> much catch, you know, on the For side of of it, VP. Are you kidding? Yeah. Well, that's what I mean to catch him. Yeah, it's catch. they got the swap. They got the they stun. Got a swap they can and a roll, stun and that's it. But he you can, can roll. Push. You can chase yeah. people down. It feels like he'll have a good time split pushing. Right. But what if? I mean, when the model seems gonna get wrecked. Right. Like, while he's farming. Yeah, he, he probably doesn't have a, ch a chance. But All right, Ground, who do you think is going to take this last game? I, I mean, it's got to be VP. There's no explanation needed. If you give an explanation, I mean, no. <sighs> it's a tough call, Jake. Sure. I, I know a good Omni Knight game. This is a, a fantastic Omni Knight game. So you're going for VP as well? Yeah. Sorry. I'm going for VP as well. Sorry. It is a mid or feed against the odds with OD Pixel and Fog for game two. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. The final game of the day now. VP versus Middle Feed. We've got the lineups done. We're ready to shoot ourselves into the action. Can they do it, Fogged? Have we got a better chance for Middle Feed this time around? What do we reckon? I'm taking a look at something before I, I make anything. All right, let's take a look right at no one. And let's okay. see his professional games as talents, because I think I've seen him lose almost all of them. So I'm going to find out. That's, that's OK. It's a bold statement. Check it out. Check it out. Let's see. Silence. Oh, right. you got, go on the heroes. Oh, it's gonna be—it's gonna on, take an eternity. Go on, go on here. Oh, wait. go on this. Yeah, but it's gonna take forever. All right, let's see. If no, I no, no, because it shows you the last time we played it. That's actually true. So you're better at this than me. Oh, you're where's where's this silence, sir? Let's go down to the bottom of the list. It is. Wait, there's only one, and it says not enough analyzed data, and he won it. Okay. When did he play it? 2014. 2014. In, uh, 2014 in, uh, at least in, on in that. July. Okay. Or in August, I mean. 
I uh, whatever. I mean, so I was just over, kidding around. Anyway. Over three years since no one's touched the silence. <laughs> He's definitely played it since then. I've seen it. I saw it recently that he played it and he had. He a is a man of many accounts. Yes. So, I mean, it looks, it looks a little weird on paper because they're playing. Okay, so early game, I think VP needs to crush it if they go very far. Very late game versus an Arc Warden and a Void, they're gonna struggle. There, I'll say that. Cool. But it's a different kind of draft. They have a different kind of style going for here. Let's see if it works out for them. They're doing an aggro tri-lane, it looks like, and that's one of the responses that we've seen a lot for the Arc Warden. Uh, you just aggro tri-lane him, and he's very weak in the three versus three. So let's see if it works out for them. So no one versus cancel in the mid lane. 1v1. I think it's just going to be a straight-up 1v1 here, Owen. Let's see how he does. I um, mean, how, how does this matchup play out with the Quap versus Silencer? Does the... Can the silence trash the Queen of Pain? They've got even base damage. Okay. And Silencer's a bit tankier with some, I'm pretty sure, higher strength gain as well. Yes. So, in theory, he could just trade right clicks, but you can't let that Shadow Strike build up. <laughs> no. We'll see. It'll be fun to watch. And then we have, of course, the Omni Knight versus the Void match up top, and they both have 10 tangos and a salve. Are they ready to go out with the, the right clicks bottom lane? Bit of a roll forward as they turn towards Wee, huh? Didn't connect. Now lots of damage coming out with that initial chilling touch. And if the roll had connected on a Weeha, we could have seen a kill coming out there. Gotta be careful on this one, man. It's, I don't think it's necessarily the easiest thing for VP to get aggressive. Every time that the chilling touch is down, that's pretty much when they have to go. But sure. it's, it's similar with the Arctic Burn. So it's pretty much going to be like every 40 seconds we should see action happen down there. So I'll be looking a bit in that mid lane just to watch how Cancel does versus no one. Then we're going to see Pasha have a very good lane up top. Mm -hmm. so already taking some good control of it. And so he's got a few levels. Those purification nukes are not going to be too fun to play around. Mid lane, Cancel getting oh. rolled upon. Doesn't connect. He used his blink, so Lil instantly rolled on him. Just to put that extra pressure so no one can farm the lane a bit more. And no one's doing it. Just dandy. Lane Ramsey's coming out on CS as well on top six for three for, for the three for zero on Tomato. So it's important when you see, I mean we don't see too many tri versus tri lanes happens a little bit more than we a little bit more now recently but very important to maximize and make sure you get those pulls constantly going off. Oh and that, that salve in the mid lane cancelled having it popped by no one straight away I and mean, at the moment it certainly looks like you know, no one's able to yeah just do so much harassment with the glaze. He went for the 1-1-1 one, one, one build. I was curious if he would do that, because with this build, then you do win the lane. But you are at, you are at risk of getting ganked up easily from the clockwork, which could just happen by Cinderin now. There's a ward, though, so no one will see him, and start to back up. That's all Kezu. Now we're we'll being able to equalize with the CS. So. Keeping it very even. Oh, I just remembered. It was, I think it was Kiev Major that no one played Silencer. But for some reason, it's not showing on his heat stream. Oh, that was really random, sorry. Okay, he must have played another account or something, as I said. You sure it wasn't Ramsey's that played it? I'm 99 it was sure is no one that played it at Kyiv. No, I'm sure you're right. I'm sure. But yeah, he's, it's going to be like both of them just harassing the hell out of each other in the mid lane, it looks like. And just whoever can race to the double no. It looks like no, Cancel's actually just rushing the bottle for the sustain since he should have better rune control. So as soon as they see that bottle come out, we're, I'd like to see Lil emphasizing more on just getting that rune control for no one to not get punished by that extra mana that does come out from the bottle. And yeah, like you mentioned, top is a little bit void favored, but once the purification starts getting more levels, Pasha, I mean, Pasha's not at risk, really at risk of dying unless some crazy bash RNG happens. Well, there's one bash. As you say, he's gonna need a fair few more. Mm -hmm. He wants to really scare Pasha. Out of this lane, that's Pasha. Cancel's just straight up bullied now because of this mid ward. He's just eating too many right clicks from the double null, and he's saving for the bottle, as we mentioned, so he needs to wait for that. <laughs> Pretty nice there for Lil. He gets cogged, but immediately just kicks Cinderin out of the cog, so the battery assault isn't too much of an issue. We'll chase him a little bit with the spark wraiths. Keeps coming, we'll get so bad one up, so Lil does survive. A little harder for Sin to get a successful wraparound on this bottom lane this time around. But uh, yeah, I think it's, it just seems to be in the mid lane as well that no one, he has more mana to play with and it, it, it just costs him a lot less in terms of mana to do the same as, as it, it, you know, Cancel wants to do back to him. It's it's much easier for him to harass this this Queen of Pain at a much higher frequency. And look at this, Cancel's going for his bounty rune, but it's not there. It's, it's already been taken. 
So now he got the bottle, he really wanted to fill it up there, but now he's going to lose the lane pretty hard. No one going to get a big experience advantage, and he's going to be able to be fine. Like, he doesn't need the mana as much as the Queen of Pain or the Sustain, because he's got the double no, so his damage is just way higher than Quap. So now no one should win the lane pretty handedly with just this, with this sheer damage advantage. And they're keeping the pressure down bottom too. Arc Gordon's farming, but so is Venge. But Venge is getting more experience down bottom since they're moving their supports around a lot. Might see a lane swap coming out soon though. Okay. Since they abandoned Ramsey's bottom. Might see him just go safe lane and they send Omni bottom. Yeah, Pasha definitely in good enough shape to go down there. Yeah. The start that he's had up it. Mid lane now, solo. Gonna put some harassment on the cancel. Force him to blink back. And yeah, cancel, as we were mentioning, is not doing so hot now in that mid lane. Now with the wand being delivered out for no one, an extra salve as well, so we can stay tipped off. I think Midterfeed need to do a smoke rotation to get cancel back in this lane thing, because he can't get shut down like he did last time, and we do see Sind making that move in. I mean, no one is like No one, no one's yeah, very no one's low, and Blink comes very... in, Leo's there, the global silence oh, as well. Oh, that global indeed, straight up, will allow them to get one kill. In fact, they may just be able to keep no one alive. He's looking to head up to the high ground, Sinner and will chase him with the Badger's up with the oh, Purification Pasha. Pasha. Comes in with the TP, and VP lose nothing in that mid lane fight. The global, the Omni TP, it was all perfect. They're just reading the movements. Absolutely perfect. Yeah. Pasha, as... Just like, just like always, I always feel like Pasha is so clutch with those TPs. Now Shrine is up, so, oh, no one and Lil will use it. Maximum efficiency on three heroes, gets rid of his nose, gets rid of his wand. Yummy. Top lane Ramsey's now, there is a Chrono available. Should be an easy takedown here. Bring Cinder into the mix as well. Trampire sometimes with the ball of smash, pops the stick charges, but indeed Ramsey's will fall. Bottom lane, still has been Tomatoes on his own. Flash gives him a bit of a run there. It's got the Arcane Rune to play over as well on the Omni Knight for now. And no one, of course, at the back of that exchange in the mid lane, sitting on that plus four intel. And uh, having that, that level advantage over cancel, still about a clear level ahead. Yeah, getting those two early kills will be very nice for that little bonus that he's got going. I would, be, I would love to see that plus two intelligence steal. That level 15 talent on Silencer. Oh, is Not that for one? A while, though. That's like level, that's yeah, that's later. But oh, now no one. This is the problem with with the when you play like Corn Silencer. Very it's ganky. very easy to get ganked. <laughs> you need their Omni Knight pretty much standing behind. And now Solo in some trouble here. Sin has got another cog in two seconds. Solo just turns, accepts his death. Oh yeah, bit of a fluff up there for VP in the middle. Sin, oh Sin, oh no, <laughs> he's done, oh, he's done himself in. Oh, the cogs, he, he chopped down the he wrong pings. one. He's like, the tree. It's a new tree. <laughs> they added this one, I swear. Oh, poor old Sin. Always there to give us a bit of humor. We do love him for it. Good old Charles. He's my favorite. Okay, Kez is doing all right. He's is top that of the, top a, of the oh, number. Oh, it's a dominator on the void. Yeah, he's got he, a centaur creep. Kez, does like getting a dominator on a, a variety yeah. of those off lane. Well, it, it technically got buffed. Not yep. the item itself, but all neutral creeps got buffed, right? The mana cost and the animation on all of the creeps' abilities have been changed in 7.07. Pasha. Quick repel. And, uh, he's under no... Oh, he gets hit by the What's spark right Yeah, the spark the secondary one. Connect. And with our okay, council coming into the neighborhood, Pasha will, will be in a lot of trouble. That's a lot of heroes that had to rotate down. I don't think cancel was actually needed. Oh, there. look up top. The swap's there. Have they got the control to bring him down in time? They'll have to pop the global, but it does get the job done. Lil rolls out. We'll make it away from Cinderum, but cancel jumping forward. Blows the sonic wave. Takes down Ramses. And they may even just get more here. Look at the body blocks coming in from Kezu with that Hellbear Smasher. Allowing Cinderum to get in close and personal. Cancelled gets the double kill. Some big plays being made here by middle feed to, at the end of the day, come out on top of VP in these opening nine minutes. They're, they're looking a lot better than they were in game one off the laning stage. Yeah. This is really nice for middle feed so far. Yeah, they pretty much just need Pasha in those situations to save people if they're going to go for those extended dives. But he's been, he's been staying bottom a bit more, and he also you know, died just before that, so... Weeha now, looks to be in some trouble here, Lil, closing the gap. Heal bomb. 
Okay. One oh, more that hit. Movement speed, that movement speed—that movement speed from the ice oh. vortex. No, no, no. Dyer's top tower is under attack. No one now mid. Cindrin, closing the gap. Can he get closer with the tranquil boots? No, unable nah, to. He's got to be careful here. He wants to yeah, back off. Top lane. Kazu. Got the chrono again. It's just him and Ramses. Would need a few bashes. And he has got the smashes. That help us still upon him. Mid lane, Lil holds them back with the boulder smash, but Council's going to want to jump in on this one. Maybe a bit of a bait, they'll try and turn with no one in. Oh, it's a lot of damage coming out from these glaives now. In fact, enough to get the kill. He'll get down one. He may just too. take Cinderin as well. Yeah, Cinderin, he's a goner. That's the second one. Did blow both the, the swap and the stun onto to the quad there. Maybe could have saved one for, uh, for getting Tomato as well, but it's, they still get the two kills mid. Top lane, the Kezu does find the solo pickoff with the Chronosphere. Yeah, as soon as Ramses leaves solo alone, solo pickoff for Chrono, but that's two more in gain for no one. It is. And this is the core silencer. You want to be getting as much int as possible early. And getting a four staff is extremely important in this game. Oh, absolutely, against the clock. I mean, even against the Chrono, you know, you crook on the fingers sometimes, you can slip out of there before it's out. Yep. Solo again now, mid lane. Cancel, putting the pressure on him. And the AA blast, it should connect. Oh, oh just on the edge. He nearly got out of it. Pasha was like, I'm going for the kill. I don't want to heal you. I don't think he's getting this one, though. No. I got the purification new They've got Lil, though. Lil's coming in. Oh, Can't yeah, with connect. that. Very nice as well. Just holding the smash off, knowing that he didn't oh. have to blink instantly. So just maximize the time they can beat into him. At the same time, top lane. They're losing Ramses again. Yeah, Sindarin with that first usage of the hook shot, able to isolate Ramses. So kills all over the place. So at least mid or feed, they're not letting down. You know, it's 18 kills, 11 minutes. They're trying to make as much space as possible for that arc warden. I think they're doing it at a pretty good pace because that's they don't want to get run over in the early game. That's like the only way that we were saying that VP can win this game like handedly. I'm gonna get this tower potentially. Oh, I should say that. They're, they're, they're feeling Catapult. Ah, oh, there we go. The dominator. Dyer's top tower has fallen. Sind, getting chased down here by Pasha. Should be just fine. Lil actually only has one stone to work with with this magnetize. So global sounds available. I don't think no one really wants to get and make any aggressive plays unless they come to him until he has that four staff. Yeah, definitely. There's no reason for him to, to get too crazy now. Still, as you say, as the core science are very vulnerable. Yeah. Without perhaps for that first major item that it's going to give him a little bit of safe. And they're farming a lot. Like Pasha's going for the Midas as well, so he knows like they're gonna, this game's going to go late. There's not going to be able to end it. And they have like these very hard scaling or the this hard scaling bench early on with that Mask of Madness. It's going to let him accelerate very quickly. So what they can do? They came. They did leave with the wave of terror, and we are, of course, see that. So he knows that at least Ramses is down here. So unlikely that middle feet get caught off guard on the bottom lane. Mid lane may be a different story. Hook shot comes out. It catches oh. out Ramses with the ice blast as well, and cancel there too. Yeah, they got the kill. Global comes out. They want to try and find something in return. That is a beautiful boulder smash. Perfect angle for Lil. Catches both of them. They'll take down one with the curse on cancel. They should get him as well, and they do indeed. But the Chrono is on three. Do they have follow up damage? It doesn't look like they do. The GA comes out. Kezu now just has to run. It was a pretty Chrono. But it, it didn't achieve much, and now Kezu, he could be in trouble himself. He's got time walk again, so he's still rather slippery, but the silence comes through, along with the purification, and again, Lil, some beautiful Earth Spirit play down in the Radiant Jungle. Sets up for another. Solo. Nice he's repelled. He'll, fight. He'll be fine. Pasha gets him out of there. And that is sort of the VP coming together that we expect to see, just this, this tight, coordinated gameplay. What's our int looking like? It's Fourteen. Look pretty good on no one. And he's got a four staff now, too. That's... That's very nice. And Cancel's just really getting shut down. Only 38 last hits on this Queen and of Pain at 13 yeah, it's, minutes. It's such a hard game for the Quap. It, it's just such a squishy hero. And there's so many silence you know, With the silencer in the Earth Spirit, one foot put in the wrong place, and, and you are guaranteed dead. There is no saving this Queen of Pain. I mean, they, they just don't have heroes to save. They don't have any sort of saving mechanisms. Yeah. VP needs, to, VP needs to keep the aggression up, though. Like, they don't yeah. want to take this game very late versus sure. an Arc Warden Void. It'll be very tough. Oh, look at this. The smoked in the pit. Oh, they did it. They went for the Rune Jabay. Is they... he going to be able to get himself out? He does get the blink off, but he's ticking down low to this curse. He's trying to bottle up. He will keep himself alive, but Cinderin won't be as lucky. Cinderin's down. 
Cancel. I know that curse is still going. Oh, he's, oh, yeah, he's screwed. He's dead. He casted too many spells off the back of being cursed up. The bottle regen was not enough to save him. 18 stolen in oh, now. Boy. At 14 minutes, he's beating the timer. Oh, boy. I mean, if they snowball, they can they deal with Arcord in, but they have to have a good advantage. They're getting it now. With these yeah. towers going down. Yep, now they're starting to get some aggressive wards down. If they can claim two tier ones as well. Oh, and they actually spot Tomato oh, as well. Oh, they found him. They swap him back into the magic missile. And with this amount of control between Ramses and Tom and sorry, Lil, Tomato is gone. I suppose connects on Ramses, but he's going to be fine. Cancel. Oh, going right. down yeah. bottom Let's now. Cancel can't find him. But Lil should be okay here with the rollout. Yep. Just fine. He's getting nothing. Yeah, he's really not. He's trying to join all these fights, but he's getting further and further behind because of it. Like he's not farming any creeps at all. It's 42 CS on the co-op. Needs to start maybe focusing a bit more on getting those. And when Chrono's up, he can start using the Sonic Wave, but I think he needs to start just pushing out a little bit more waves and being a bit more greedy for himself. I mean, Weeha's got a Midas, at least, on the AA. Yeah, he's playing the greed nicely. Yeah, he's playing some, he's playing some greed. He understands what the, the game needs to be like for them to win. There we go. Smoke comes out under a ward oh, that no. Solo had just placed up there about a minute ago or so. So they're going to sit behind no one, but no one does have that four staff, so he's going to play a bit aggressively. They're setting up top now, though. Ramses as well making his way up. Who are they going to find? It's Lil. All right. What do they want to blow on him? That's and the he's gone, though. Oh. Again, these boulder smashes beautifully done by Lil. Quick reactions. Sindarin could, can, Sindarin's like, I, if I hook, I'm just going to get kicked out of the yeah, he, out of the cogs. Yeah. He can't really do that. Now all the VP coming in. Cancel. He has to be careful. Oh, Solo is trying to get the curse off on him. They'll go for Sindarin's dead. They check it out with the wave of terror across the tree line. They've found Sindarin. Now chase him down. He'll look for the cute hookshot TP play. It's not going to work off. Magic Missile was already out and chasing him. That's full, him down. full Hurricane Pike now on no one. He's pretty beefy. He is very farmed. He is getting close to, what, having 3,000 gold advantage over his opposing mid laner. I think we might see... I, I really think Cancel needs to start just farming some waves, though. I mean, he, he he's died five times now. Yeah. But it's it's very scary. VP's just doing this constant aggression, and the silences are just too much for him to deal with. And Weeha now. Has to be careful bottom. He senses something's up. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Speeding away with that Ice Vortex. And he will be, well, I say it will be fine. Ramsey's may still get the wraparound on him. Now nah, he's going straight back. Weeha's going all the Radiant's way back. Top tower is under to attack. safety, so he gets some wards down. He sweeps through the jungle of middle feed. Very deep wards coming out from VP. Keeping that constant. Oh no. Oh, Weeha's gone the wrong route. Another kill for VP. Radiant's that ward getting the job done straight away. Kazu now porting in. Might be able to find a return kill. He's gonna spot. Who's gonna spot? They see Ramses. They're going for it. Oh, he can't quite. Oh, he G time walked onto the high ground. I mean, even if he went down, I don't think he could have got the correct yeah, range. Yeah, probably not. They, they'll get solo though. In contingency. That's something at least. No, no. He's living. He's alive. Oh, oh my oh, God, that was so oh. close. Oh, I thought I thought he was getting out of there. How did <laughs> curse plus? I guess he must have TP like a split second late because TP is three seconds and the curse is three point two five. Oh, unfortunate! <laughs> Damn that was, that was that was almost heartbreaking for Mitter feed. Yeah, that was. <laughs> He's looking a little rough indeed. No one, all the space up top. And mass four staffs being built out, of course, from VP. Four staff on Omni Knight. They're building a four staff on Lil. I'm assuming everybody else will probably get one eventually. Ramses with the Hurricane Pike eventually. He's only got Mask of Madness right now on Ramses, though. He's not farming the best, but pretty decent for being put in an aggro tri lane. Yeah. Interesting that uh, what Pasha will be building the Ether Lens. Definitely an item. What were the changes that we're seeing? A lot of heroes not get anymore, but I guess Omni Knight, one of the ones that really did revel on the cast range. You need, you, like, repel cast range is. Not great, neither is purification, so it's it's definitely a really good pickup for him. He's about to have it anyway, too. He actually does have it finished. I was a big fan of the Blink Dagger build that we saw earlier today, too, but sure. this game, I don't know if he even feels like it's worth it. They just want to go for some group up and him sit in the back. If he can sit outside of the Chrono with that Aether Lens, it's going to be more than ideal. Because then he can just throw Guardian Angel, Repel inside Chrono, and that'll counteract a lot of what Midorfi does have to, have to offer. 
It can cancels now. Got the Yules. That's going to be one of the answers to, to this sort of mass style that's coming out. But slight. Again, uh, that's the thing. We've seen the way that VP play. They're very good at making sure that their sort of disables don't stack, and yep. silences won't be any sort of exception. The second one will come free after the first one's removed. Passage just backing away. Middle feed did look like they wanted to try and get something done on this bottom lane. Cancel has an invis rune. Can they actually get a jump here? Kezu with Chrono available. I see Ramses. Ramses is actually going for the Shadow Blade instead of the uh, Hurricane Pike. Looking to want to go for that like pick off build. During all this, oh now no one versus Tomato. It's a battle. I mean, he should win this battle pretty easily. Yeah. Yeah. Oh! oh. It's close. Not, not quite. Not quite. It's close indeed, though. Definitely a fight that Tomato cannot afford to try and take. Yeah. Yeah. Arcorn has every time. Arcorn has very high uh, strength. The strength gain 3.0, so he's still pretty durable to be dealing with that. Kezu. Chrono comes out. It's a one-man Chrono though. Look who's outside of it. Pash is there with a the repel. Global Silence comes out. Oh, that's sad. And oh no. And they Cancel found went in. in. They found him. Cancel will blink out. Looks like Cancel will get away. The Winter's Curse down onto Kezu. He gets out with the time warp. Middle feet won't lose anyone as of yet. Cancel blinks back in. He wants to try and turn this hook shot going straight forward onto Solo, but the GA's pop not. Enough to save Solo from the Magical. They get a four-man silence out. But Pasha, he's now being focused. Bit of a scrappy one here from VP, and they're getting punished. They lose two heroes. Lil going for the roll TP out. They're looking back towards Tomato. No one has now turned up, trying to help him out. He's doing so much damage here with the Glaze. He will take down a second. He's looking towards Cancel. Cancel will be able to blink away. Forces forward. Looking the for best. We are. Oh, he gets oh him. God. Does get the triple. But he goes down at the end of it all. Middle feed. Getting some big kills. But, uh... I'm sure no one will say it's worth it. He gets the intelligence stolen. And he's, he's level 15, so he gets the two yeah. and two bonus for each kill. Oh, so boy. he just got, what, six times two, three? Or uh, yeah, it was, not, it, was, it was on 14 Four before. times three, so 12. No, he had 18. Oh, he had 18. So okay. he got 12 more. Got 12. I, that, my math was so, yeah, he got six. Now. Wait. He got 12. What, 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 he got 12. What are we it's not to work six. Out? It's four times to, three, Owen. It's not that to, difficult. Okay. <laughs> I mean... That was my bad. That's all right. I don't know it's what been a long day. NA education system. It? Yeah, yeah. I don't know what it's like over there. No. I'm a British boy. That was a pretty weird fight, though, right? The Chrono comes out, the Global yeah. comes out, everybody's just standing there like, huh. Yeah. Now what? And then, yeah, Cancel ends up surviving during all of it when he gets caught out in the side there and picking himself up two much needed kills. So he has surged himself upwards yeah. in that net worth. No one's got his blink now, though. That's, that's good oh fun. This is when it's fun. When you got the blink in the Hurricane Park on silence. Dude, he does, really good. he does so much damage already. Yeah. And that's where the, the Glaives got nerfed, right, didn't they? They did. They did get nerfed a little bit. But, uh, yeah, they're still pretty good. That uh, infinite scaling. Pretty I like, nice. I like the build, too. The blink with uh, versus, versus Chrono. Yeah, I, versus Void the blink's Chrono. a really good answer. You can always dodge. You can try to dodge the Chrono very well and also the chase. Now he's going to go for blink hex. So he'll have that extra catch. And he already has the Hurricane of Pike, of course, to save himself versus that Clockwork Hookshot. So it looks like uh, Sind is building toward the Vessel to deal with the healing coming out from the Wyvern as well as the Omni Knight. Pretty interesting pickup. Oh, yeah, that's up. right. Yeah, it's pretty good against the Cold Embrace. Mm -hmm. Very good, in fact, yeah. Yep. Knocking down that regen that it gives. Oh, DD rune on Ramses. They make their way in the pit. Solo is positioned very nicely as well. I mean, at middle feed, if there was ever a time to go for a big chrono play, this would be it. But it doesn't look like they're set up to do so. It's dead. And now no one has that Aegis as well, on top of all of his incredible farm. He's gonna have a t oh, he can get the attack range talent soon too. So that's gonna be really great on top of the Hurricane Pike. What are you on 25 now on this? Plus 20% oh, glaives. When, so what's the glaives at the moment? 60. It used to be 75 at max. Okay. Now it's going to be 80% when he oh, gets, okay. so whenever he hits 25. Right. Yeah, 80% into damage. That's nice. Especially with the with the plus two int steel. That changes what that. I mean, I guess that's why they had to scale it down because of the talent with the int steel, right? Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. Because otherwise it, it would have been ridiculous. I mean, as we're saying, it's still pretty good. If you're getting the kills, you absolutely pack a punch. No one's certainly doing it this game. Mid lane. Is that lining up Tomato? He wants that illusion kill. Illusion. Oh, the money. Plus 180. He's got it. Oh, plus 180. Easy gold. Top tower is under so lane cancel. Getting a bit of split push onto this tier 2. 
getting away with it for most parts. VP making their way slowly up there. And uh, no one indeed focusing on that farm, wanting to get that scythe of vice complete. Oh, he's going for top. Dyer's top tower. And he gets out. Attack. And Ramsey's just farming the Dominator creep whenever it shows, plus 125 gold for him. So they'll, or VP, they do lack ways to just like, I mean, with their core heroes to push out the waves. It's just Omni Knight sure. purification. You know, Silencer doesn't really clear waves too fast, neither does Vengeful. Sure, they have Wyvern to do that, but it's one thing that they're lacking on their cores. And Arc Warden's getting up there. He's got the Mjolnir finished on the way to the bots. So Mitter Feed's not entirely out of it yet. They're keeping this gold chart absolutely to the minimal as much as possible. It's what, 1K, about 2K lead for VP. Let's see what they can make happen here. They find Solo. So that's nice. And look who's being found on the sidelines. Oh, man. Has Kezu gone? Does he get a chance to drop the chrono? Kezu needs a Manta ASAP to get rid of that silence. So many times these fights where he's un just not able to get anything off. Very deep, aggressive wards all game throughout VP. They have not been playing like on this defensive stance whatsoever, for good reason. And it's the best way that they need to play against this Arc Warden hero. There should be another tier 2 going. Up the fortification mid lane, middle feed going again to, to try and bring VP back from this push down bottom, but the tier two's gone. Mid lane solo, in a little bit of trouble here. Will hold back, cancel with the Winter's Curse. Cancel actually blinking in aggressively, goes for the kill, will get it. He's tempted to hold back Lil. Cancel should be more than fine. Oh no! Has he not got the stun? He has got the stun, he holds onto it as well to the last possible moment. Cancel still has the blink. They need more than just this Earth Spirit to kill him off. Cancel probably should be fine. Should be fine, yeah. yeah. They be can't very quite surprising chase him. if they catch him. They but do have a ward on top rune. Top or top side. But very unlikely for them to get him. Worthy tribute. Yeah, he's out of there. Bottom. Kazu. He's got Aegis. Pasha's running closer too. He needs to back up. He him. cannot deal with this on his own. No one. Oh, he's hiding, but they did see him for a oh, second. Oh, they did. They yes, Finder is hot in the case. He's looking for Pasha. Oh, that bling though. No one gets out. And they, they're not going to be able to get him a second time. And if anything, the Pasha wants to chase back. He's forcing forward. Trying to get that degen aura on them. In comes no one as well. They're looking towards Sin. I think it quite close. This is a middle feeder. A little too speedy. They do get back to base. Cancel blinks in to stop oh. Lil's roll, but now and no the one's there. Cancel. You do not want to fight this. He's got another blink. That's going to keep the curse going. Curse though. is going longer, though. Don't think it's enough to bring him down, though. It's got to They glimmer close. him just in case. Okay. okay yeah, he starts trying to press the switch too as well. But. Yeah. No one, though, getting dangerously close to that hex, which will make it yeah. really nice for them to, to catch. Radiant catch out cancel, tower. catch out the Arc Warden. And now Ramsey's full BKB finished, and they're positioned down the mid lane. They know Chronosphere is down, they're going to be as aggressive as possible with it. That information. Yeah, so the global silence to play around with themselves. Yeah. Now there's, oh, there's a tier 1 top. They're like, oh yeah, let's go for that one. Once yeah, so they've got that, that, yeah, well, that would be enough money for, for completed scythe on no one. No, Arc, for, Arc Warden's farming very well, however, the other two cores on his side are not really having the best luck of Ramsey's going in oh. very deep. He's under a sentry ward though. He needs backup if they want to actually have a proper attempt at this kill. Nice move there from Nolan with the blink and the hurricane pipe, but the glimmer cape comes out. Tomato will be saved. Kezu's coming in on the front lines there. It looks like his life may be the one to pay for it. Winter's Curse is down. Kezu in all sorts of trouble. Does get the time walk off. He's falling out. Can no one quite finish him off? It doesn't look... Oh, maybe with the hurricane he can. Oh, he does. No, he does not. Kezu survives. That was very over aggressive there by VP. They lose. I mean, they lose no one. And did he actually pick up the Mystic Staff slash Hex? Oh, oh shoot! That, that was, was the Hex. <laughs> All right, boys. A little bit of the old school VP three two two coming through. That? I guess they didn't expect the Sentry to be down, but that in combination with the Glimmer Cape save was really nice coming out from Interfeed. I mean, and you're right. You know, Tomato is not a bad place. This arc. He's fun. farming up there, man. Cancel just got a oh. big amount of kills too. I think full linkage is going to be finished up now for him too. I like that as well. I mean, Tomato's got queued up with Nullifiers his next time. Mm -hmm. That's going to be pretty nasty. Uh-oh, Ramses. He's got the backup Lil. from Lil. But it's just two versus three with an AA blast coming in. Uh, goodbye, Ramses. Yep. All right. 
middle feet getting some good momentum that uh, VP are seemingly just, just handing to them on this bottom lane, as it were, off the back of those two fights. They are on their way back for sure. Level mm -hmm. 20 now on cancel. He completely caught back up. It's, he beat no one to level 20. They might, they have, ex they probably have experience advantage now. Oh, and the gold advantage. Crazy. He's been getting some big kills, Cancel. Yep, and with the courier kill, he kicked, killed the Hex. Yeah. So now no one has to wait two minutes to be being able to pick up that sheep stick off the courier. Uh-oh, we got a game on our hands, Owen. Yeah, middle feed. If they can continue to, to make the big plays, if Kezu can get out the Chrono, how's he doing on that Manta front? Is he still a bit still, away. He's still a bit away from the Manta. The Cancel's, cancels. Mostly recovered. He's still a little, a little bit poor, like with the 10,000 gold, but got in a good amount of kill streaks. And at least now he has Lincoln's on top of Yule's two different save factors. At least to block out that bench stun and that insta hex that could be coming out. And as we've seen as well, you know, we has been doing some nice stuff with the Glimmer Cape. Yes. All the times that Glimmer Cape play coming into to massive effect. Yeah. Trying for the play there to, to prop that Lincoln set up for Ramsey's. To get a stun through, but cancelled very quick. Quick with a blink out. Mm -hmm. Anytime he sees anything, proc it. Balance the scale. Don't know if EP's gonna do any of those crazy dives again for a bit. Gotta be much more careful. Solo top, cancels on him. A blast as well. He's gone. Easy pick up. Cancel. He's really turning up. He had a tough game in game one, he had a tough start to game two, but now. Looking pretty good on the Queen. As you said, definitely the issue still being that the, the farm's not great on him. But uh, he's certainly proving to still have an impact. Ooh. Ramsey's now again also being chronoed up. Yeah, the global pop the global. Out. We'll see how much this can do to actually save Ramsey's. He's turning onto Kezu. Kezu gets the time workout. Sting comes in with a hook shot. That BKB, that's not going to help Ramsey's at all. Ramsey's is gone. No one's now turning up. Can no one turn the fight? Glimmer Cape again onto Sin, buying Sin time, but Kezu's down. Cancel, Invis at the moment being, Pasha turns back towards Cinder and middle feeder there in full force and with the arc warden turning up, VP they have to run. Pasha's no, in a lot of trouble here. He's gone, purification won't save him, that's the second kill for middle feed this team fight. No one's trying to hide in the silence but he's got no TP. He'll try and fight and find something in return but again with the Glimmer Cape, Weeha will stay safe. No one gets taken down. Uh, they, uh, they're going to lose Solo as well. I mean, Solo's trying to find Sin. Will he quite get him? No, oh, 15 HP. Survives. He's got the Spirit Vessel too. Oh, and Solo is dead for sure. A fourth death from Virtus Pro. What is going on? Mitterfeet is coming back. Massive. VP so. is making some very ambitious plays. They didn't even have the Hex off the Courier from no one there, and they went for, I mean, what was initially started as a 2v5, which turned into a 3v4. They end up killing Kezu, but they lose a lot for it. They're just throwing heroes in middle feet. Yeah. Hmm. And, I mean, like we said, their heroes do not do very well versus Arc Warden once it gets to the later stages, and we're getting there. He now has the Nullifier finished up. Once he has Nullifier and Orchid, you use both on somebody, you can't BKB, you cannot do anything. You're actually just completely disabled. Your items are disabled, your abilities are disabled as well. You've got to rely on your teammates to do something. Yeah. You need a Lotus Orb on somebody to be able to remove that double silence and mute off of you. Essentially a doom when you have both of those. Rolling in, looking for Tomatoes. Illusion and Tempest double. Uh, it's not going to get taken out. There's just timeouts and no bonus goal for them today. It's looking really problematic for them now. Yeah, 5k gold lead for middle feed now. Yeah. Cancels now fully recovered. Yeah. And Tomato is absolutely massive on the Arc Warden. MVP needs to, if they want to be, if they want to take fights, they need to be together. That's the one thing that I'm noticing is that they're going for these like little, these little plays where it's like two or three people going for a play and then the rest of them kind of trickle in one by one. If they're going for those, they need to have some kind of like instant disable. That I mean, they found the Solo. Solo. Yeah, he's get out of dead. That. And now Lil is just dying to an illusion right now, but he's able to get himself out of there for the time being. But now cancels, making his way up. Can he close the gap? Rocket. Silence comes out. Yeah, Lil turns. He did have Ramses in position. They have the damage. Cancel's pretty tanky now with that brand new plate mill picked up. So they're unable to get him. Yeah, Ramses just doesn't quite have enough 
than a fried click at this stage. This is where the Venge oh, does boy. struggle. And Roche is up, oh. and now Mitterfeed goes in there, and it's it's looking pretty grim now for VP, man. This is yes, it's great stuff from Mitterfeed. This is some hot stuff indeed, and no way that VP put a stop to this Roche. Aegis into the hands of the Ark. And they have Cheese on Queen of Pain. And they got Manta Style on Kezzy. Yeah, they're getting all the items that they needed to be able to take the fights properly versus VP, and VP has I mean, look really at blown their lead. Look at Ramsey's. His, his net worth is just falling down. Yep. He's, he's behind Pasha. It's, it's, it's this Venge core that we're seeing teams try, and it absolutely can work out. But in games like this where it starts to tailor off, you know, you're hitting 34 minutes in, it just becomes such a hard game for the for the Ventral Spirit to have an impact in. Yeah, you start falling behind in farm. You get farmed through kills, but you don't really hit creeps too well. Pasha at least has Midas as well as the GPM talent, so on Omni Knight he stays very farmed up there. But yeah, when they just died... Well, let me see, let's look. I'm just looking at the chart, they got... So they killed Kezu, and then they've lost 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... About 12 heroes or so for just Kezu in the last... Like, Oh, yeah, look at those great In the last nine minutes dots. or eight minutes. Yeah. yeah. No one. No one. Gets the blink away. They s kind of... Oh, he gets oh. with the chrono. Oh, Kezu, what a beautiful play there. Oh, goodbye, no one. What a play. Just the tip of the chrono. And Cancel, who had 30 CS at 15 minutes or so, is now godlike at 35. Cancel is back. He is back, baby. He has full Shiva's Cancel finished up, too. And he's about to be level 25. He's going to be the, what, is he going to be the first level 25? It looks like he's going to be the first level 25 on that Queen of Pain. What's he taking at 25? I don't know, we'll see. He's got, you know, you got the Lincoln Spear block and the Scream of Pain Fear. Oh, surely the Spell block. Yeah, that's usually what we see. Yeah. And VP, just unable to get back on their feet, unable to take just these head-on engagements, head-on fights, especially now versus Aegis and Cheese, they don't really particularly want to. Yeah, this is, I mean, it's very scary for, I mean, VP's best bet is if they can actually make it so that in these team fights, no one can sit there right-clicking people. But at this stage, with the items and the power that the heroes in middle feed have reached, it's very hard for a team fight to play out like that, where no one actually gets to sit on the back lines and chip into them with the glaives. It's just not it's, happening. It's, the, the fights are far too disruptive. It's it's looking, like, really, really tough for them yeah. to take this game now at this point. Like, I don't know how they can get to the Arc Warden anymore. It, it, it looks just it's so hard with these heroes, these lineups. You know, VP, they wanted to do something a, a little bit fun, but at the same time, you got to remember, the, every game does count in this league. You've got to be in that top four. Yeah. Or at least the, the top of uh, your region, respect of EU or CIS. It's like that, after that that one sentry in the mid lane that caught Ramsey trying to go for that really over-aggressive play, and then yeah. the Glimmer Cape usage from Weeha, everything has completely turned around since then. It's kind of mistakes you can't make versus an Arc Warden lineup. Sin just looking for a perfect angle from behind the trees. Mm. Same thing though for Pasha. And Ramsey's desperately trying to farm up some sort of mage item that will help him offer any sort of just reasonable physical damage in these team fights at this stage of the game. He's, he's trying to get the butterfly online. Bottom lane, Tomato just sending in the, the Tempest double. The power of the arc, arc one, and this the thing is, well, they don't really have much to deal with the illusion. They've got the hex, but as we can see, he still gets so much done. Oh, and they don't even get the plus any plus one eighty for their efforts. Expires right before they get the last hit, and now Chrono's back online, so Mitterfeed's looking to take an engagement. Ramsey really wants this butterfly. Really needs it too. Needs his damage is his damage is getting better because he got the level 20, 15 percent vengeance aura. But it just needs the stats. Yeah, it's, it's not amazing. It's, it's, it's just not not good enough at this stage. No, definitely not. Especially now because I mean, no one's farm has also been completely halt, halted on the silencer. He was having a spectacular game at 30 stolen int at the 26 minute mark, and now he's 34 at 38. So it hasn't scaled much. No one has to force himself back. But all the towers being dropped in mid or feed, keeping this constant aggression on not letting no, not letting VP get any space in the map. They're farming everything on mid or feed while VP is farming little to nothing. Just getting in more and more of a gold lead. Ten thousand now for mid or feed as well as a ten thousand experience lesson. Oh boy.
Can VP really come back from this? Well, we've certainly seen them do so in, in harder situations in the past, but... Oh, oh Skolo oh, tries to go up to get for a ward, but instantly picked off. They already had it. Vision up there to see him. He has buyback. Might have to use it here for this situation. Radiant are scanning. See what we got. Tomato heads up. Looks straight towards the silencer. The fellow's there from Pasha, but no one gets taken down to half of his health. Has to force himself out. Ramsey's looking for an opener. The Sin and Kezu there on the sideline. Comes in with the chrono. Grabs it onto two. Looking towards Ramsey's, but Ramsey's no will be dead. fine for now. BKB. They'll buy himself some time. They'll lose the Earth Sprint. Mass buybacks coming out from VP as they're desperately trying to hold this defense. No one will leave forward but the Hex. And they finish off Kezu. No, the Force and the Time Warp getting Kezu out of there. Ramsey's cold embraced. Sinran still alive amongst all this chaos. No one forces himself forward. But now Tomato oh, turns Tomato's with the Tempest double. Him. The Nullifier just ripping into the Silencer. It's a dieback from no one. Ramsey's is down for 70 seconds and cancel. That's He's on the high ground playing with them all. And is indeed GG well played is called. VP dropping the second game and middle feed with a brilliant end to their day. Being able to take a game off VP and, and quite confidently so as well. We saw indeed at the start, VP, they showed their flair in the landing stages in the early movements, but bam, as soon as that mid game came into play, it was just it was just up and up for middle feed. A, a lot of it was down to a bit of a blunder from VP on that Yeah, point. They threw, as you said, what, 12 bodies at them in a matter of minutes. Yeah, the, it all came after they had the Shadow Blade on, on uh, on Ramses, he yeah. goes mid, he tries to get that like cute little pick off on the arc ward in there, but there's a sentry down, they see him coming in, Midterfeed cleans up everybody, and then it happens again afterwards, they go for yeah, this. they just do it again. They have two heroes kind of running in, and they kill Kezu, but they kind of trickled in one by one, and Midterfeed just end up picking up several kills, and with an arc ward in light up, the later and later it goes, it's just super beneficial for Midterfeed, and cancel with probably one of the best recoveries I've seen in quite a while. Definitely. Yeah, yeah really nice see from him as well, because as you said, he did struggle in game one, but brings it back at the end of the day in game two. So the series ends 1-1. One, one. That's it from myself and Folkbeard. Let's bring the panel back in. And uh, yeah, guys, middle feed taking a game off VP. Yeah. Pretty damn impressive. Very impressive indeed. I did not see that coming, especially not after that early game, because that looked rough. Yes. Yeah, and the, yeah that comeback, I mean. Huh? An Arc Warden who falls behind, like, never catches up. But then you have a Venge who's, like, so far ahead, and then no farm potential. So it was, like, an X. Like, one was at each side, and they just crossed paths, and... They kept going and wow. Generation X. Yes. No, that, <laughs> that was just super well played by them late game. And Kezu like wasn't that far in the entire game, but he kept getting these great chronos off. And like yeah. they said, once he got that manta, there was nothing stopping him in the chronos off. Like the 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 globals were punishing him early, and then they finally got items to stop that, and they were good. I mean, that looked like no diggity from back in the day. It